before i start with this review i'll tell you a little bit about this series so even if you haven't watched the show you can stay for a while i'll let you know when i'll start talking about the spoilers so you can come back after you watch the episode the story is set in a near future world in la the aliens aka the hosts or the raps invaded earth and killed all the soldiers or cops basically they killed anyone who was capable of fighting back every defense mechanism in the city was wiped out within 8 hours the citizens of major cities were blockaded into districts with mile high walls with a metal beyond our ability to construct this event is called the arrival have people already forgotten the arrival They set up an organization called the Occupation and put humans in charge to make sure other humans stay in line while they monitored everything from above and sent drones down to help maintain control. If you loved the fifth wave or the divergent type of stories, you'll definitely love this show. Season 1 picks up one year after the arrival and it focuses mostly on humans. Humans are divided into two groups, the collaborators who support the aliens and the resistance who fight them back the actual arrival was shown in the season 2 premiere and honestly i had goosebumps the whole time i watched the arrival it was one thing to hear about it and totally another to actually watch how it all happened okay guys that was the non spoiler part i'm going to discuss the first episode of season 2 1113 so if you haven't watched the episode yet there are going to be spoilers ahead for you This episode was a flashback in time to the arrival of the hosts. It showed the devastating invasion and the subjugation of the humans, and in the end, it picked up where season 1 left off. I loved watching the arrival. It was like watching the fifth wave all over again. They first took out the electricity, the cars and phones stopped working, and just like the fifth wave, they used humans against humans. In the flashback we saw an agency called the Institute for Global Advancement recruiting people for the brave new world. The fact that humans knew about this and were ready to collaborate with them was just really surprising. I just assumed that humans only chose to surrender after they lost. They took all the important people who were needed to reboot the society if it ever ends and put them in some kind of cave. But I'm on a list. What kind of list? We're the ones who are responsible for rebooting it. In the flashback, we see Will's partner Devon. He thinks she has turned into a bad cop and he decides to leave instead of reporting her. She is definitely hurt by this, but she got out before all the hell broke loose. He tries to go and get Charlie, but he can't because the hosts put the wall around the city. In the present, Proxy Snyder gave him the transit pass to go find his son. I was really surprised by this. He was a nice man and did the best he could in the position he was in. Even though it didn't seem like it in season 1, he had to make some tough choices but the alternative would have been much worse. Or maybe he was just trying to redeem himself for the horrible things he had to do for the hosts, knowing that his daughter hated him. But giving Will his transit pass was a really nice gesture. Anyways, Will finds out that Charlie is working for someone named Solomon. When Solomon's men kick him out, he goes to his former partner Devon for help. I don't know why, I have a feeling that Devon is Solomon or at least she is working for him. She was Will's partner, so she has to be a good agent. She also mentioned that she had contacts with criminals. She might have used her connections to get to the top and she knew Charlie. Back in season 1, when Charlie found the gun, he said he'll trade it with Solomon for breakfast. It didn't seem like he was working for Solomon. As for Broussard, in the flashback his instincts were right. We need to get out of here. Whoever's behind this attack knows exactly what they're doing. He knew something was wrong and he got out in time. If only he joined forces with Katie and Will and if they all worked together, they might find out some way to fight back because Snyder was going easy on them and the hosts weren't happy about it. Things are going to get a lot worse. especially because the resistance abducted one of them the little freedom they had will be taken away from them i can't wait to watch the next episode so what do you think will happen in the next episode do you think devon is solomon don't forget to tell us your thoughts in the comments if you like this video please click on the like button below share the video and subscribe to my channel 
Have a great day. Bye-bye. See you in my next video.